Hello everyone, Rumpire here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Fall of the Republic Separatist Alliance from the Ground Up campaign. Now I'm just turning everything on. I remember now that we were about to invade Ord Cestus before I ran out of time last time. So, I'm going to begin work on that soon. Just going to check. Right, so that's how much it was. I forgot how much that was between recordings. It's only been a couple days since my last recording. So, something to note. This is the same day I just posted the video about my new upload schedule, where I'll be doing these videos once a week. And I probably should... I should have mentioned in that that I didn't have the thumbnail yet, but I was working on it. So yeah. Here's the ground army prepared for the invasion of Ordcestus, which... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna auto-resolve battles because... the ground battles, because I don't want to fight those. But my goal is for this next little arc of videos to be the foundation of the first, well, not first, of the second fleet. There we go. Oh my lord, those casualties I took were horrendous. Oh, what can I build here? I could build Bactoid Industries. Okay, that'd be cheaper battle droids. Hmm. Or you, cheaper... Well, a different type of droid being cheaper. And cheaper heart cells. Although, I'm going to go with that first. Uh, tactical droid factory. Okay. That'll be nice. Yep. I'll, I'll, I will like having that, at least. Yeah, I'm going to start off by putting that down. And then up in orbit, I'm going to just do that. Yes, so as I mentioned, I wanted to begin building up my second fleet. As of right now, I really, I really only have the ships for one fleet. These two Lucro Battle Carriers being that fleet, being the core of that fleet, I should say. So I want to go over here and, when I get a chance, build a couple other ships. I want to make a new trio of munificence, and then build up the support vessels. Because I'm going to need way more ships to begin securing this area. But also I need to rebuild my army again. I'm just going to go here, build, build those two, come here. Do that, you know, do my thing. Gonna probably hold off a bit on any further military operations until I can rebuild my military. Sorry, gonna hold off a bit on the bulk of my fleet expansion until I can rebuild my ground army. Because that was kind of a horrible loss of ground troops. I lost a bulk of my ground forces in that battle, which was not good, but okay. It happened. What does Bandamir have? Okay, it has six acclimators, two of which are acclimator one assaults, and two, four of which are acclimator one carriers, two DP-20s, well, yep. Oh yeah, those are the DP-20 crawling gunships. And five Carricks. I remember that off the top of my head. Mostly. Let's go to the ground base here. And those are... MTTs would be heavy factories, if I remember correctly. Let me check and see. Yep, this was from a heavy factory. So. The Hag MTT. Anything that you would produce from the light vehicle factory? Yep. There is. 
So you can also be built at a few other areas. Any of them up here. I think one of those might be up here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm although thinking one of them might be in this. I can't even tell you where they are. I know those worlds. I know where a couple of them are, but I can't remember which ones are where. So I'll stop rambling about that. So my idea is hit Bandamir and turn that into a fortress. Maybe turn Cymurth into a fortress also. Although, what I'd want to do is take Ithor, Mandalore, and Boz Pity and secure the north. So, I will begin building up the second fleet up here to begin work towards that idea. So, actually, yeah, I probably should focus on building up the second fleet. So I'll wait a couple turn, a couple more weeks, and then begin work on these, maybe. Because right now, the Republic holds a lot of space. I need to begin doing a lot of stuff. So actually, I probably should take Bandamir. I am going back on every word I've said. Oh, I do want to check. What ground space gun do I have access to? An ion cannon. Right. Not the best option. Not what I would choose, that's for sure. Okay, so the Lucro battleship and a small number of support vessels. Right. Up here, what do we got? Got a couple of munitions. So I do want to begin, as I stated, I do want to begin expanding my fleet so that I have more ships spread throughout the area so that I can do more stuff. But I also need to do research. So I'll probably save up, do research. Ugh, there's a lot to do. A lot to do, a lot to do, a lot to do. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. I forget what's up at Rax of Secundus. So I probably should focus a bit to cure the back lines. Rax of Secundus could actually be a pretty good production world of some kind. Oh, so where do I need to build Golan 1? Renvar, you get to, you get Golan 1, you get Golan 1. Okay, so I'm spending on Golan 1, shouldn't be. But hey, two free MTTs, not going to really pass that up. Oh yeah, this is the one with the Recusant Dreadnought. And a Boar 2. What are, my, what are my big ships again? Yeah, that, yeah. The Republic has captured Pomon. Pomon. Isn't that... Close. All right, all right, all right. So, um, never mind about the building of the second fleet. Those guys are getting merged into fleet one.
Okay, quick. Uh, they have a Lucro Battle Carrier and some, some of that. They've got... Okay, so this is the Republic Fleet. They have two... Sorry, they have six Acclimator 2s, an Acclimator Assault Carrier, an Acclimator Assault Loadout, ten Arquintons, and a Pelta. Alright. Once my fleet is in position, we might be able to jump into Mon Cal, take Mon Cal, hold... I think I got what I... I got my MTTs. I'm going to send them to Raxus. Got to actually, like, gather the army at Raxus. No, I added the MTTs on Mintween already. Huh. So it looks like I got four MTTs and all that. And Axis has fallen to the Republic. Alright. The Republic has linked its forces. This leaves me with, like, one option. One option only. It is time for the attack on Mon Cal to commence. Alright, so you go there. Or not? Okay, now you go there. I'll probably just leave Aminifsen in orbit here. Send in my ships to secure the orbit of Pomont and drop Pomont. Just, if I can take Pomont from the Republic right now, Land troops. I need to do whatever I can to win this fight. So I want this ship going after. Sorry, I want I want my firecraft going after that. Oh, it thinks it's a Lancer, how cute. Oh, my auxiliary pursuits are getting destroyed! No! Not my destroyers! actually lost quite a bit.
So right now my goal is to begin taking care of that support fleet and take care of the loot crawl. Although, this munificent's gonna die. It's inevitable. I lost an auxiliary pursuit, so I lose a munificent, lost a couple support ships. Ugh. That's on me. Alright, Munison, begin engaging the Lucre Hulk along with our own Lucre Hulk. These guys, you engage that. Oh, well, there goes my... <laughs> there goes my hard self again. The auxiliary pursuit is gonna help with that. That's gonna help with that. You're gonna do that. My hope, sink the Lucre Hulk. Right now, it's mostly just giants slinking it out with each other, isn't it? So my goal right now is if I can knock out their hangar bays, it'll be good for me, pretty much. I wish I could assign a ship to target certain quadrants of another ship, not just one weapon. So I could assign one ship to take the entire right, one ship to take the entire left, one ship to take the core, one ship to deal with the engines, you know, that kind of thing. Alright, the battle is won, pretty much.
Oh, I lost a good chunk of you, didn't I? No, nope, you were all still around. Look at them, they're like little fish. So that, those tri droids are just gonna, those tri fighters are just gonna do, oh no, it's dead. Alright, I thought those tri fighters were gonna spend a while playing with their food, but I guess not. Look at this. 36 Vulture droids in that squadron. 36. Oh, hey look, I have more tri droids. All right. Oh, he fell. I lost four hard cells in that. Four. Ow. I'm not going to rebuild those yet. They just fit over. I'm going to leave one of you behind because you really don't mean much for me. Sorry. So what's on Pumont? Please tell me they haven't built the shipyard yet. Michael, get in there. Stop the construction of their shipyard. I could have waited literally like two more seconds. Hmm. All right, current goal. Drop in a couple Lucre Hulks and a couple combat vessels. Oh my lord, I'm immediately losing my bulwark. Alright, here we go. So. Into the core of the enemy fleet you go. This is going to be a, this battle I should be micromanaging a lot more. But holy crow, there's a lot of enemy ships. Well, not a lot, but there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of action in like five seconds. I lost a bulwark, sadly enough. 
but I just mopped up the Republic Northern Fleet in like five seconds. Okay, so I can build more bulwarks, right? Nope, I can build bulwark two, right? Right. Nope, that is a bulwark one. Okay, good. There's nothing on the ground on Pomod that should prevent me from doing anything. Okay, going here. Going here. Alright, all right, go to go to that. Go. Good. Go. Research. Oh, that's gonna take ages. Good. I have now beaten back the Republic dogs from Pomod. I'll build free dock here, maybe. It is the border world. Which makes it a dangerous place to build free dock. You, I cannot select this ship. There we go. Where did the recusant come from? Did I complete something by accident? And not did I complete something without realizing I completed it? All right, Mon Cal, <coughs> Mon Cal is now mine. Which, this actually boosts my income by a bit, I think. I have now have four Dreadnought shipyards up north. Good. My entire fleet is over Vermont. Well, most of the fleet is over Vermont. So. I'm gonna have to wait a bit until I can get the Pomot shipyard up and running. Or the Mon Cal shipyard. I'm gonna do Pomot first. Because Pomot is the bigger one. Pomot is the prize. Now, for me, this is a major thing, because now I have a lot more in terms of worlds. Because that was, what, two worlds in not that long of a time. Anyways, that'll be it for this video, and I will see you all next time.